Officer Smith and I entered the King Road residence through the bottom floor door on the north side of the building. Officer Smith and I then walked upstairs to the second floor. Officer Smith directed me down the hallway to the west bedroom on the second floor, which I later learned through Zaina's driver's license and other personal belongings found in the room was Zaina Kernodal's room. Just before this room, there was a bathroom door on the south wall of the hallway. As I approached the room, I could see a body, later identified as Kernodal's laying on the floor. Kernodal was deceased, with wounds which appeared to have been caused by an edged weapon. Also in the room was a male, later identified as Ethan Chapin. Chapin was also deceased, with wounds later determined to be caused by sharp force injuries. I then followed Officer Smith upstairs to the third floor of the residence. The third floor consisted of two bedrooms and one bathroom. The bedroom on the west side of the floor was later determined to be Kaylee Gonzalez's room. I later learned from a review of Officer Nunez's body camera there was a dog in the room when Moscow police officers initially responded. Officer Smith then pointed out a small bathroom on the east side of the third floor. This bathroom shared a wall with Madison Mogan's bedroom which was situated on the southeast corner of the third floor. As I entered this bedroom, I could see two females in the single bed in the room. Both Gonzalez and Mogan were deceased with visible stab wounds. I also later noticed what appeared to be a tan leather knife sheath laying on the bed next to Mogan's right side when viewed from the door. The sheath was later processed and had K-Bar, USMC, and the United States Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor Insignia stamped on the outside of it. The Idaho State Lab later located a single source of male DNA, suspect profile, left on the button snap of the knife sheath.